Hello, Mathieu from Syme here. As you know, Picto has been designed to let you integrate all sorts of catalog into one single interface. But there is one catalog that everyone has, and that's the Apple Photos catalog that comes with macOS. So in this short video, we're going to show you how to integrate Apple Photos inside of Picto. We're going to show you how to use the unique exploration features of Panorama and the AI-based points of view uh, that Panorama creates on your pictures. And you might be in for a nice surprise. So let's get started. First of all, Picto supports all the features of Apple Photo libraries. So we read all the metadata, we read the previews, we read all the uh, information about albums, about dates, about keywords. We also read faces information. And um, in order to fully support search, uh, filtering, and of course, uh, viewing all the, of those images. As with other uh, photo libraries, adding an Apple Photo library inside of Picto is as simple as finding it and dragging it into the user interface. We're going to do that for this one, for example, which is not a system library. It's, it's a library that I've created uh, previously. Often the problem that people face is that they don't know how to find uh, their photos libraries because they they might not be in the standard places or they might have forgotten where they are. Um, so you, usually uh, your main photo library is inside your pictures folder. So, and it's called photos library. Usually that's the default. Um, so that would be your system library. Like in my case, uh, this is my main library, 77, 550 gigabytes. I'm not going to drag it, but because it's going to take a while to ingest, but essentially uh, this is what I would do. Drag that uh, into Picto and wait for it to, to fully process. So this is the place to look at for your system library. If you have other libraries elsewhere and you don't know how to find them, you can use the attach catalog feature that is available inside uh, the uh, file menu and click on the volume that uh, you have and it's going to um, to find all the libraries that Spotlight can access on, on that particular drive. So here, for example, uh, it finds my uh, system library. It has this little uh, icon that says that it's synchronized with the cloud. Um, there are 34,000 images in it, and there is a little view on, on the timeline that tells me uh, when those photos were, were taken. So I can see basically that I have photos from 2006 until uh, today. And there is a little photo here that uh, probably has a wrong date. Um, and, but there are other libraries here that uh, I can, I could access, I could add some test libraries that I had, uh, etc. So I can easily filter here on Apple Photos catalog and I will see all those catalogs that are available on the drive. Sometimes your drives are not indexed by Spotlight, like uh, this one, for example. And uh, it says that no catalogs were found, but I know that there are catalogs there. So I could click on the deep scan feature and it would scan thoroughly the disk to find all the catalogs it can find. And among them, maybe there are some Apple Photos libraries. So once you know where they are, or once you found them using that tool, you can add them to Picto. And uh, really, they behave as a standard uh, Apple Photos libraries. You can um, you can view your images. Uh, of course, you can double click to see uh, larger previews, and we will fetch the previews that are generated by Apple Photos. So you can end up with uh, uh, pretty good resolution images. can see you, you have a uh, high quality previews inside of Picto. Of course, you can uh, use all the filtering that is available inside of uh, uh, Apple Photos. So for example, I can filter by favorites and here I'm going to find all my favorite images. And uh, if I check the metadata, 
this is the metadata that was uh, that was added in uh, in Apple Photos. So these are favorite images. Of course, I have all the uh, all the other metadata that uh, that was added in Apple Photos, and I have uh, including the uh, um, the GPS information for those images. I can run searches. These images were taking probably on the Sony camera, not on the iPhone. Um, so essentially, all all the uh, all the aspects of uh, of search are working inside uh, that content. And uh, you get the panorama view for um, for those libraries once the AI has uh, has completed. There is something that you can do in Picto that you cannot do in Apple Photos is to combine libraries. So if I click on Apple Photo libraries, it's going to combine the view of these two libraries together. So here I have I'm looking at one thousand five hundred fifty six versions that are split between the 353 in this one and uh, 1200 in the other one. So you can combine different libraries. Maybe you have uh, a number of them because you use Apple Photos for projects or for different types of uh, um, of organization. And uh, you, can, you can view them all together. Of course, the search is going to run across all those libraries once you uh, select that node on the left. If I go into the structure, I can see all the albums that were created in that um, in those libraries. Inside of uh, Apple Photos, and of course, I can launch. Apple Photos on a specific image. Let's apply. Let's make it black and white. I can quit. Now, P2 has detected the change. I can either click on the wheel here or I can simply ask it to synchronize this image because I know I've changed it. And now I have the black and white version that is coming up. We currently don't synchronize um, the edits that you do inside of Picto back into Apple Photos, but that's something we are looking to do uh, in the very near future. So for example, if I favorite this image in Picto, it's got not going to favorite it inside of, uh, of uh, Apple Photos. Um, and that's something that we are looking to do, especially with the system library um, in the near future. You can access your map inside of Picto. Your images by uh, location. So this information is coming directly from uh, from Apple Photos and is uh, is exploited in inside of Picto. Apple Photos is a great app and its uh, feature list is getting greater every every year with every macOS release. What we've shown you with Picto is that you can push the boundaries of Apple Photos even further through the power of uh, filters and smart albums that um, uh, Picto has, as well as through the, the unique exploration and navigation features of Panorama and the unique points of view based on AI. So we hope this video was useful to you. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want to be part of our community and get notified as we post new content and we will post uh, uh, new tutorials uh, in the coming weeks. Also, you can use the comment section to post suggestions or even features that you would like to, us to cover in the next videos. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.